Let's talk about wavelengths and frequencies and how to come up with them on the fly and be able to picture this stuff in our head a bit better. It can be useful not to have to get a calculator out and just to get a good feel for what's going on. If you have a cancellation you're measuring or some issue you're measuring on your smart or your measurement software and you have a couple different speakers and you know those speakers are 10 feet apart, what frequency has a wavelength, a half a wavelength at 10 feet? And be able to kind of calculate that in your head without going to a calculator and or having to look it up. And it's really simple or fairly simple. The way I do it is sound travels approximately 1120 feet per second at sea level and it varies, it speeds up a bit and higher temperatures and it changes a bit with elevation and whatever. But for all practical purposes, for what we're doing on the fly, we can use 1120 or even 1100. 1100 feet per second. Well, the frequency 1120 hertz has 1120 cycles per second, which means that each cycle is exactly or approximately one foot long. So 1120 is one foot. That's super handy. Because once we know that, we can go down to half of that. So 560 cycles, half of 1120, or 1100, 550, somewhere in there, 560, is going to be half as many frequencies, so it's going to be double the distance. So we're going to, it's going to be two feet. 110 cycles, what's that going to be? Well, it's going to be 10 times, that's going to be 10 feet. 55 cycles, that's going to be 20 feet. Half of 55 is 27.5. What's that going to be? That's, well, 55 is 20 feet. Then half of that's going to be 40 feet. We can kind of scale all of this up and down. What's 2,200 cycles is going to be half a foot. 4,400 cycles is going to be a quarter of a foot or three inches. At um, 8K, it's going to be an inch and a half. And it's going to keep going down to 16K. We were doubling, so it's going to be about three quarters of an inch. How does this help us in real life, in the practical world? We want to set up an end fire subwoofer array. And we've got two subs per side. And we're on the fly, and we just, we're having some issues. And there's too much sub bleeding into the production office or some neighbors or whatever you have. So you decide you're going to set up an end fire. You pick a frequency that those subs are fairly loud at because we, with an end fire you're typically only canceling at your tuned frequency. Now let's say we pick the frequency of, if we want to take it easy, we do 55 hertz. Let's say we do 55 hertz. Well, what we want to do is set the subs up so that it's a quarter wavelength between the radiating surface, the speakers of the front sub and the speakers of the rear sub. So we got one sub, we set up another sub behind it. And we want to set up a quarter wavelength at 55 hertz. Well, we know 1100 cycles is one foot. We know 110 is 10 foot and 55 is 20 feet. So that's for a full cycle. We want to come up with a quarter cycle. So 20, a quarter of 20 feet is five feet. So that means we want five feet between the front of this and the front of this. Now, I don't expect you to do all this in your head, but having the ability to scale that up and down and kind of figure it out will help you envision it. And as you start to gain, and as I do more videos, I'm going to work on getting people picture sound to be able to see it, to kind of feel or visualize it in your mind or kind of get an idea of what's going on rather than the mathematical flat two-dimensional screens that we see. You know, these sound sources are radiating these three-dimensional sounds. You've got a subwoofer like a balloon expanding and another balloon expanding within it, another balloon expanding within it with each frequency, with each wavelength. And, um, we can get into that more. All right, well, I hope that's helpful. And yeah, kind of cool just to be able to calc frequencies on the fly there in your head or, you know, scratch something out on paper where you write down, you know, one foot is 1120 and then 10 feet is 110 if you, if you have a hard time holding that stuff in your mind. All right, I will see you soon and we'll talk about some more audio stuff.